milestone today is market leader worldwide on the two wheels but it's very important even that we look at something else that need to be in some way close uh, on what we do today because that's our experience but on the same time something that can open new space I think Hot Wheels is a, is a big opportunity for Milestone because it's, uh, as a first, uh, is a worldwide license. Hot Wheels is the toys most played in the world today. The relation with Mattel is a fantastic relation. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, this license can bring, that can bring Milestone and, uh, and, and Hot Wheels title, you know, can bring the success in US for sure, where you know Hot Wheels is so popular, but the same in Europe, in Russia, in China, is a real worldwide license that I believe a lot. My stone was born in 93, 94, from a, a small team of developers. They were very passion of, uh, of technology, of video game and racing. They started to do well and they started to meet uh, big publisher. They met Virgin and uh, you know, the first uh, big title for Milestone has been Screamer. Sometimes even today we receive uh, some messages, so why you don't you do another Screamer, it's fantastic. They started with Virgin but they proceed and work for hire for, for big name like EA and they did uh, all the super bikes uh, series then they work for Infogram, for THQ and Capcom the first period I'm speaking the period between 94, 95 till the end of 90s was very productive for Milestone, very good then you know the market changed uh, there was the transition to console, console was growing a lot uh, and uh, Milestone was born as a producer for PC. It was not so simple, the transition at the beginning and the competition became harder. So uh, Milestone started to have some issue. There was no new titles coming. <laughs> there was another company in Italy, it was Leader and uh, was the company managed by, by my father and myself and was a distribution company. Leader was in the market since 94 as well. But, uh, you know, with the market growing, the publisher was starting to come in Italy. So we understood that uh, uh, the future for a local independent distributor could become difficult. So in that time, we were looking for uh, some contents that could be our contents, not just distribution of box of other people. And for the first period, the company keep losing money. Till in the period of 2011, we decided to close the distribution activity and focalize just on publishing. We decided to completely change the strategy of Milestone and we based our strategy on three points that were very important. The first one, we had to become independent from the others. The point was we want to publish our game. Okay? If they are good, we will succeed. If they will not be good, we will not succeed, but it's important that we are independent. Second point, we are a studios that produce racing. It was very important to find some good real championship because there was not, not enough money to create new IP for Milestone at that time. But uh, if we produce MotoGP, MX, WRC, you know, the license is already well known. And the third point that was very important, we wanted to increase the productivity of the company. So uh, one title per year was not enough to grow up. So we completely changed the process of production to be able 
to produce more than a game on the same time, okay? We change our strategy on these three pillars and in one year the company started to become profitable. And since there, I speak about 2012, 2013, the company has always been profitable and always more. How many games do you have in production at the moment? Five games at the moment. <laughs> it's, a lot. it's a lot. Uh, you know, uh, Milestone, uh, part of our strategy is produce more game on the same time, uh, even because, you know, uh, majority of our games are linked to real championships. So, uh, MotoGP, we produce MotoGP every year, because like FIFA, you know, you reproduce the, the championship every year. And the same is for MXGP, that is the Motocross Worldwide Championship and Supercross. Supercross is more a US championship, but it's very well known along the world. We produce uh, the three uh, games every year, plus uh, uh, we have a, a milestone IP, that is Ride, that is produced every two years. So as you can see, we always been very uh, focalized in the racing because it's, it's part of our culture. All our, you know, all, not, perhaps no, but 80% uh, of uh, uh, the developers in Milestone drive the bikes. If you come outside our build, building, there is a space, and uh, when there is not Corona, when everybody is here, you can see 70 bikes there, and uh, are all Milestone. <laughs> when when the company is open, all this area are full of bikes. <laughs> so how long time have you been here? Uh, five years. Five years? Five years. Before we were close, close to the central station. Uh, because consider that five years ago we were 80 people. Now we are 230. So we, we change because it was too small. I love this office. I like it so much. We are in the Sant'Ambrogio area here, that is very close to the dome. We can go in the center of the dome in 10 minutes walking from here. We were not looking for money inside the company. Uh, I was looking for synergies inside the company. We are in Italy, we are not in London, we are not in Los Angeles, we are small. Because we are 230, it's very big for Italy, but there's nothing in the world. So what I was really looking for for the company was uh, uh, you know, to assure Milestone the right synergies, the right visibility, and eventually, in the future, the finance uh, to get the opportunity that we can see to assure the, uh, the growing up of the company. We need to find the right partner. There was no urgency for Milestone. We didn't need money, we were very solid, so it could be today or in two years or in five years. It was not a problem. So we started to think of who could be the right partner. I met the first time and then the second time and then the third time. The third time uh, Lars from Embracer and, uh, and Clemens Kundert is from, from Koch. Um, I like uh, the mindset that they explained to me, the way, uh, you know, the, the strategy they had in mind for the group. Uh, and it's not only the independence, uh, independence of each company that was very important for, for me because, you know, I love my company and, uh, and it's very important to have the possibility to be, be fast in the decision and whatever. But what uh, I like more is that we agreed on uh, the way we see Milestone grow up. At the end, after this two, three, four meeting, I was convinced that uh, Embracer was a company where I could personally work for a long time, but uh, even more important uh, was uh, a group where Milestone could find a space.
what can I say is that I'm very glad, uh, you know, about the choice, about being the group. People are very friendly, friendly. Uh, people is very nice. Uh, we have the independence that uh, uh, we agreed with Lars, with Clement since the beginning. We can be fast in our decision and on the same part, uh, we feel, you know, a part of, of the group itself. And you know, we are, we are part of the group that is growing so much and that's very positive. On the same time, we are milestone, we feel milestone, so people feel safe on it.